Well, it seems I have gotten a well-wise response to my recent videos from Master Don, of which I will now respond to as thus. You, d you made a wise decision, Don. I, as long as I get the money before the end of the month, I will withhold the photographs and the other information. I can promise you that. But, miss the deadline? And you certainly don't have to be my slave for a week. I mean, aside from the slave laws and everything. Anyway, apparently I have learned from my esteemed colleague that Thor, Master Jeremy, is still not convinced that I mean business. Well, just to show you, Jeremy, that I mean business, I'm going to reveal a little bit more about you. Here is a close-up, another close-up of that photograph zoomed in on your pizza face. as well as a zoom in on a possibly more current or possibly previous photograph of your stuff. And I'm going to reveal a couple of random tidbits about you from my notes. Once again, Jeremy lives in Canada. And he likes the typical geeky things, uh, without being stereotypical, of course, and not offending anybody of the sort, because I am considerably one myself, because I like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and all, and that sort. Apparently, uh, he is a LARPer, live-action role-playing, as it was portrayed in that episode of The Tester. Oh, look at me! I'm frolicking about! We are going to be warriors and whatnot! We want the things! And then we're future cops! Set being mall for future mall cops! Mall cops of the future! La 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 la! We're LARPing about! LARP 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 And we know that the atheist does not like having his mind changed about God. I mean, I gotta tell you, man, God is all-powerful. How do you think the Earth was created aside from the Big Bang? Who had to put the Big Bang together? God. And I know from my Bible, my hand on it, that between him and Jesus, they're pretty powerful. They're pretty powerful individuals. And I believe in them. They have... I mean, Jesus has done a, a lot with his miracles before he had to weigh the cross. Which I just empathize with him on that. I mean... It's like I could feel the thorns that were a drug... that were drudge plowed through his hands and his feet. Or a crown. Mm. Empathy is a powerful thing. But, I certainly would not want to be an atheist, because if I don't have God or Jesus on my si by my side, I would be more lost than I was considerably beforehand. Atheists are the devil spawning, as it would seem. And I certainly would not want to be run amongst them when they are run out of town with the pitchforks and the haste and the fire. As a believer, 
I would either be a peace. I would more likely to be the peacemaker. But I certainly wouldn't mind being one with a pitchfork, following the crowd and pushing the atheist out of town. You have until August 31st to reply and follow my demands of admitting your wrongdoings and making the public apologies via YouTube video as I am well aware as I have made note that apparently the billboard is no longer an option. Anyway, between the YouTube public apology and leaving the internet for good and leaving me, my family, and my friends at peace, that is what I demand of you, Master Jeremy. Your move. Because if you're not, don't for, if you don't respond by the 31st, I mean business. Check your privileges.